you put Mr. Howard out, and then you told us that you were going to send us our clients to prison, but you would grant first offender, and that you would give us an appeal bond. Then you confirmed that on, in, in court on the record, Your Honor. And, and, and if you, and now that you're upset that we didn't listen to Mr. Howard's plea deal, I think that that is inappropriate. Okay, fine. That's fine. There's probably a lot of people think a lot of things I do is inappropriate. Your Honor, I, but I am making a motion for you to recuse yourself from sentencing my client since you are not making your decisions based. Apparently, you're going back and forth based upon a motion. And Your Honor, well, I'm the state would, would ask that you give these uh, defendants until 11 o'clock with their clients. We're not we're not we're we're yes, 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 you sit down. I'm gonna put you in jail if you Honor, if you yell at me, point at you me. You yelling at me, Judge. I'll, I'll be quiet. I'll, I'll whisper. I'm, 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 I'm giving my sentence based on your client and those similarly situated, Ms. Sharon Davis Williams and Mr. Pitts. We're at the very top of this scandal, at the very top. And everybody in the education system and APS knew that cheating was going on, and your client promoted it. That's where we are. She's been convicted, and she's at the top of the food chain. Your Honor, not one witness testified that my client directed them to cheat. Or Your client right, ran numerous fine educators out, non-renewed them, fired them. She was responsible. 